IYC, Amangad, the founder of Space HQ, where our vision is quite simple. We want to operate the world's first 100% commercial space station. Now we aim to realize this vision by using in-space assembly robots in place of astronauts. That's because while as impressive as it's been to use astronauts to construct space stations, the capacity has not grown much. In 1971, we started with a three-person space station from Russia, which is called Salute 1, and we've reached a seven-person space station in 2022, which is the ISS. Now, there are competitors uh, who want to continue to build you know, modules on the ISS that detach and then become a full space station. But even that implicitly assumes that you're going to use humans in the loop, which means you can't build anything at the same scale as a 100-person space station. In other words, you're going to stick to the ISS model itself. Now, this is what separates us from our competitors, predominantly. It's our focus on in-space assembly robotics. But the beauty of using in-space assembly robotics is also that we have other end users for this, which means we're building something users want. So who are these users? We're currently in discussions with organizations in the UK that are focused on delivering space-based solar power. Now, building these large solar power stations in space also requires assembly robots. So that's where we know that we're building something that's genetically usable by other people in the space community as well. And it requires a lot less investment to build the robots than it is to build the space station, but we can sustain ourselves in this way. And I think that is quite critical to like how we aim to grow our business. Now, I do possess the expertise to lead this group uh, because I've worked on in-space assembly robotics for the last five years uh, where I was working for Airbus, but I also lead my own research group at the University of London today where we work on space robotic technologies. And I've also worked at NASA JPL. And before all of that, I also got a PhD in aerospace engineering from the University of California. So with that, I'm looking forward to making the submission to get YC support for Space HQ and hope to see you soon.